Hey guys, if you're like me, you grew up playing Minecraft and set your fingers on WASD. W for moving forward, S for moving back, A for moving left, D for moving right. On top of that, when you need to jump, you click the space bar. About knowing you already perfectly conditioned yourself with some muscle memory to help you excel in League just from your childhood or whenever you played Minecraft. And this should help you excel in League because you don't have to relearn any of these heat binds and you already have your fingers set where they should be. For different games like even Lava Boy and Fire Girl where you use WASD or arrow keys but you the hand motion is the same so why not incorporate that into the league. And the best part you can finger all the keys from this hand position and I would consider this pretty optimal. I'm going to show you why it's so effective to allow me to have impeccable mechanics and improve my reaction time to input my abilities faster in league. So here we go. When you first start playing league, league teaches you to have your four fingers on the QWER keys right and the, I, I can see the intention behind that it's trying to reach the F4 key keys the number keys the d and f keys and all in spacebar keys but i feel like you're, you're just overloading everything it's not fast enough and having to learn the macro the mechanics the the items just all this is so overwhelming and you have nowhere no idea where to start right you have to look at your fingers every single time it's like playing a piano you got to memorize which finger is doing which finger and your fingers are so used to being on those four keys now why not use that to your advantage and start have a good starting point and go off from that and so that's what i did throughout the years whether i just playing league or just even typing s's or just even spending time on the computer i developed such a habit of typing and just using my muscle memory that i'm able to type at 140 words per minute typing speed so the reason why i recommend just learning from the wasd keys is because your forward finger is so dominant and just one finger can use can reach everywhere on the key right it can reach t it can reach d it can reach f it can reach your numbers if you need to and you've been using it throughout your entire life you through habit through just practice or just through even pointing and even though my typing isn't really orthodox it's very just like i, I just move all over the plate i think this is a great reason why i'm able to excel at league too because i already have the muscle memory i'm just playing at wasd and just i said like you don't understand like when i type or when i do anything everything always comes back to this right because i've always done it and it's, just, it's so familiar to me so i don't even have to think about this and at some point you'll reach the level where you stop thinking about what your hands do you don't have to look at it you've done it your entire life right and i know it's hard to catch up from the people like who already played league for a longer time so it has years on you and you're just starting out for like a month or even this is your first year you have to catch up but it'll, you'll catch up eventually so i'm going to show you how i finger playing league so I'm going to show you how my fingers sit playing League and how they move around the keyboard, especially my pointer finger, which is the most dominant for me at least. And I'm going to show you why it's so effective in allowing me to have impeccable mechanics and faster reaction time when I see something that my mind can input, my, my mind to muscle memory input, it's way faster playing like this. Other games that require this and that's why it's just like, why not build off of this instead of just learning something completely new just for one game? Like, you know, you have to put yourself at a disadvantage to learn something completely out there when you already have a pre-established muscle memory, which I would work off of. Moreover, at the end of the day it's all about muscle memory right it's all about muscle memory it's all about practice it's the worst worst thing to hear like just practice more just play more that's the worst thing you want to hear but it is reality you, ha you have to get experience you have to just develop develop it slowly and eventually once you finally get it though you don't have to think anymore like it's just like it just happens and it's the best part and then that's when you have a lot more fun so just remember that your hands are not rigid when you're playing league and just think about how they're typing right they just move everywhere just think about not having just stiff hands you want to be able to move and be fast everywhere and have reaction time because you're just thinking stiff and you're thinking and you're just you're just too slow or just too stiff you're just gonna be a slow player you're gonna fall behind the curve and you're not gonna be able to excel right but you have to keep everything fluid you gotta think that everything's just gotta be fast everything's gotta be very agile that everything's gonna be just smooth right just don't be rigid and stuck in a mindset where you have to like all right i need this, my fingers to be stuck in these keys q w e r and just never move from there right your finger sometimes your hand just moves find your own personalized solutions and very effective habits is way better for you if you can find those spots so i would encourage you to look for those at the end of the day there is no correct answer for this right everything's subjective and everybody will have their own preferences and opinions and every single little thing but but what I'm encouraging you to do is just explore into things that are going to work better in the future. If it isn't working now, if it is working now, stick with it, right? You think it's great? Great, great. But if you feel like, I wish my pants were better. I wish my reaction took a little faster. And you don't know how to improve. You're playing League for a long time. You're just wasting a lot of time instead of actually thinking about what can I improve and what can I improve and what can I improve in. Uh, this is just an alternative method that will help you improve. And if it doesn't work, it still sets you on the pathway to look for different habits and different muscle memories to develop and different fingering to help you improve at league that's all i got for you guys today this channel is one objective and one objective only is to help you climb ranked and help you achieve your goals not by overcomplicating concepts for no reason but only showing you the knowledge that you absolutely need and the critical things that you need to do to actually improve and the best part it's going to be free and i'm really against paying for coaching unless you really need that one on one like really really need it but i promise you that if, like you, when you actually think about what you're doing wrong the coaching doesn't actually help you as much until like a master is like above when you're trying to break masters and trying to break into the higher elos right but this is just very like 
I can tell you what you're doing wrong just by just watching you play for like 10 minutes, right? So if you're making these type of mistakes, it's very easy to identify. I always offer coaching sessions for free when I have the time. All the information you can learn online or just even learn on your own and just like develop it. But what I'm teaching you is just accelerate. Like I'm just straight to the point, right? From A to B, you want to get there. I'll show you how to get there. I'll show you multiple methods to get there. And for someone who's climbed through each individual rank throughout the years and just even been hard stuck in some of them, I'm going to show you why and explain why, why things work and why things not. And I just try to articulate that to you guys and just teach you as much as I can with all only the essential knowledge not this nonsense meta and not such so just the core fundamentals that you need to know so you should totally like and subscribe and have a fantastic day guys see ya